This is a tutorial on how to take slides that are Reveal.js slides that were created in the reports package or the Solidify package and to view them locally. Uh, this is useful to view them locally um, because then you can view the presentation notes without an internet connection. Otherwise you have to put them in Dropbox or some other sort of um, server space that allows you to get the presentation notes. And let's take a little look at Reveal.js. Very nice platform right here. It's an HTML5 presentation platform. Really nice. You can go down. Just really, really slick. And one of the nice features of them, these slides, are if you hit S, it gives you presentation notes. And you'll notice that I'm on this slide here, the foreground. In the background, the slide is also changing. This is nice because you can keep the foreground uh, window on your desktop and the background is projected up on the wall and that's what your audience sees. And what you have access to then is the current slide, the next slide, the time, and the elapsed time, and then also any notes you want to write to yourself. That's very nice for, for presentations. The only problem is if you try to view slide notes locally, let's say you don't have an internet connection, I can go ahead and view the slides, looks really nice, but if I hit S, it says this statement that it's unable to access the window opener location. And we want to be able to overcome this, and we are going to use Python to do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started and create a presentation using reports, load reports library. And then presentation is the command or the function to do that. We'll call it foo, that's the first argument. And we'll set solidify, that's an argument to tell what type of um, RMD file we want. We want the solidify file to be reveal.js. We run that. And it created on our desktop or wherever the directory is, working directory. This directory with all sorts of preloaded goodies for making presentations. We'll up, open up the presentation directory, open up foo rmd, and here we see a solidify framework for creating a presentation. Just come down here, create a slide with some presentation notes. We'll call this note slide. And to create presentation notes with a reports package, consistently use backtick r, pn for presentation notes is the function name and then whatever you want to call it. You can use multi lines by using slash n so line 1 slash n line 2 and we'll go ahead and use init html. Solidify has been set up to to really run quite nicely produce a really nice product for us Let's go ahead and take a look at what Solidify has generated for us. And we have a nice little presentation. And here's our notes slide, but we hit S and no notes. So here's how we get around that. In a previous tutorial, I showed you how to install Python locally and be able to run it from the command line. And what we do is we go into the command line change the directory. This is, by the way, Windows platform, if you can't tell. So you may have to adjust the instructions accordingly. And we'll change the directory to wherever those presentation notes are. Or the presentation is. Our next step then is to grab this Python command. And that command is Python space dash m space simple http s or server and it's simple is capitalized http is capitalized and server is capitalized the first letter of that and you run that and you know it's ready to go it says port 8000 the next step is to get http localhost colon 8000 and just go ahead and put that into your um, browser and you can put slash and then whatever your HTML slides were 
ours were called foo.html. We see our slides are up locally, and we hit S, and there are our slide notes. Very nice way to run Solidify created slides or reports generated slides that rely on Solidify and be able to use them without an internet connection.